Happy New Year. Today is January 1, 2012, and most people are still sleeping after last night's celebration. I decided to begin my new year with my second post of my vlog, which is a continuation of the previous one about cookies and picture books. Well, this one will also be about cookies, but a different perspective. Today I want to share with you uh, a creative work that I did about the cookie. Uh, this work was created for a course called Language and Power that is offered by Dr. Nicholas Faraclas of UPR. It's a very fascinating course because we read about how powerful words are. I mean, we do know that, that words are very powerful, that a word can be a weapon. If said beautifully, it can transform people into unimaginable positive things, but also if used in a negative way, it can destroy. As I read about pot turkey, I really started analyzing how our society is still very patriarchal. Uh, even though we do say that we have gone beyond uh, the times where women was in the house, in the kitchen, and had to basically obey everything that her husband or father or elder brother said. Uh, it has been transformed in a subtle way, but patriarchy is still a very, very strong aspect in our society. As I read on, I decided to look at fairy tales, because I do like traditional tales a lot. And then, as I started rereading them, I notice how patriarchy is very strong in these tales, which is not a surprise. I mean, these tales were written many years ago, and patriarchy was a very strong element at that time. But still today, with the rewritings, with the new versions of fairy tales, patriarchy is still an important element in these stories. So I showed The Princess and the Frog. Disney had released in DVD format, its most recent movie at that time, which was The Princess and the Frog, the one with Diana, that many of you might have already seen. I love the movie. I really do love the movie. I love the character of Diana. And yes, there were many things that were innovated or broke away from the traditional aspect of the Disney fairy tales. Because we do have a black princess, and previously there was not a black princess presented in these movies. As I analyzed the movie, the movie still favors patriarchy because all through the movie we do have this independent character, but at the end, which I will not ruin, if you analyze it carefully, you will notice that patriarchy is the one that wins over the story. In the most traditional ones, you do know that patriarchy does favors the male character in all these uh, fairy tales. We have a poor Cinderella that suffers and it is the prince that rescues her from poverty. We have Rampunzel who is basically locked up in the tower and we have the prince that comes up the tower and saves her. So the traditional tales do show clearly that the male is the one in power, is the one that's able to rescue, is the one that gives the female character the position, the social position, the economical position, the security to survive in a hostile society. But then, when Disney came with its version, I expected that these ideals were important, in my opinion, prevailed. But that was another story and I will not discuss that so if you are interested look at the movie The Princess of Frog. It's a very funny movie. You'll enjoy it a lot and at the same time as you enjoy it look for those elements where patriarchy. So as I was preparing my presentation I started thinking that I have not read a book that empowers the female completely without the intervention of a male character, at least the ones that I have read. There must be many around, but I do not have knowledge of those. And you see The Princess and the Frog, which I like a lot. One night, as I was waiting for my daughter to fall asleep, I started thinking of rewriting The Princess and the Frog 
in a new version where Padre Pri will be eliminated, or at least I believe it was eliminated up to some point. And also to use the Caribbean elements, which I emphasize a lot when I teach children. So with the story, what I want is that the girls understand that, yes, I mean, marriage is nice, it's important, it's beautiful, but they do not have to get married just to fulfill role and to be unhappy and to be full of a life of suffering, psychological or physical, with a person that is supposed to be your companion, your partner, your other complement, but instead of being that, it can become like a nightmare. And join them in the path of life. To be a person that values them and understand mm -hmm that a marriage is sharing, is working together. It's not one person who is the king or the prince that rules over the rest of the people that become their subjects to be humiliated, to suffer, just so that person feels happy. So that is the goal of the Frog Prince, which is dedicated to my daughter because my